Today's production is brought to you by Patina Collective. Small favor, whenever you have a chance. Sooner than later. I need this painted silver, I have the color for it. This car is actually 60 years old on the dot. You are so lucky to be here. Value <laughs> every second that you spend. And if you don't subscribe, get the fuck, because I'm sliding on your house. I'm going to burn that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, yo. I don't have my sunglasses on, so I don't feel like I'm in the pool with you. Mm. Now I'm in patina mode. I'm ready for it. Patina boys. We up. Hold this, mom. Look. The gun out for flashing. Move like assassins. You follow your heart, then you hustling backwards. She want to be tied up and gagged like kidnappers. Got quickly attached. I fucked up with a passion. Do or die. She want to ride. Bonnie and Clyde. Mama, I'm a slide. You, I can bend. Choppers inside. Whip is homicide. Start off the bread. I cut the ties. That's Cause if I move this here, how the fuck are we going to get there? Three hard tops. The big one there and then two more. It's huge. It's heavy. No, no, I know. You can't do it over the car. No, no, it's a... With a fucking huge roof. Today's production is brought to you by Patina Collective. New crib, new town, switch the plates, yeah. I told the fans, no face, no case, yeah. We're above all the money chaser. Mama, mama, and the face. Alright, guys, so you know we got the G Wagon from Ivan Lindell, the famous uh, AMG G Wagon with the W116 and W123 front. And we got the G Wagon is being built by Cardinal. And these are the two tops for the two different G-Wagons arriving right now. Hard tops are very, very rare and hard to find for these G-Wagons. So we're very grateful to have these two. And we gotta make sure we secure them right now and put them in a safe place. So that's what we're doing today. So your first time here? No, I've been here before. It's still shocking. Yeah. <laughs> Walk in here and you see a bulk of cars and you're just shook and then you start looking at the cars and you're realizing that they're wide bodies and evos and yeah it's wild to never made a hard top for the 124 a removable hard top and this one has a custom made removable hard top this removable hard top was about 10,000 euros to do back in the day when the guys did it so incredible we bought it just for that We're here with Fender Mender right now, about to check out my guy Robert. You know what I mean? Check out the wide body SEC and talk about these two cars he has. He's parting out for us, as well as bring him this piece right here. We need painted for the CLK that we're putting on auction for our guy, Cruz. Let's go. Legend, how are you? Oh, they're in the back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah they're in the back. Small favor, whenever you have a chance. Sooner than later. I need this painted silver. I have the color for it. 744. Yeah, so. You brilliant silver. Yeah, we probably got done the um, So he's about to head out to Las Vegas to go spend some big bucks over there. In the uh, meantime, uh, we're gonna yeah. try to get these uh, assembled. Here we got the Eddie Murphy car, which was unfortunately a rotted chassis, and we couldn't do anything about it. So we're gonna strip off all the important parts, which is this SGS body kit on it, the wheels, the grill, anything that we could save for another car. We have a lot of SECs. How do you feel about this, Robert? What are you, what are you thinking? How we'll many just, days to dismantle this? Uh, we can do it in a couple of days once we get started on it. All right. Have you got somewhere where we're going to put it all? Or you want yeah, to I'm going to probably get a crate or something for you. Get a container or something? Yeah, get a container, fill it up. Basically, all the important things like this, this, this. Fenders? Moldies. Fenders, yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, we paid 500 for that one from Germany. Exactly, exactly. Can't get them anymore. Exactly. So anything that, that we can use. Trim. I'm thinking about keeping the structure of the hardtop. Wheels for sure, the exhaust for sure, tail lights if they're good. This is a pretty good little body on this car. Yeah. Pretty we couldn't find someone that wanted to build a race car or something and sell the whole. Yeah, I mean, it's a space issue for me. You know, if you can find someone to buy it, 
put the box in. Let's see. The only thing I was going to grab from this was the engine and the, and the wheels, really. But I'm sure, it's, I'm sure it's a small fortune to rebuild it. But yeah. if you need one, you need one. So, so many cars, you never know. <laughs> I don't want to end up needing a C43 engine. I already had one that threw right, away. Right. That's the only thing. If I didn't have 300 cars, it'd be different. In a couple of weeks, we're going to start painting the wide body, so we're going to come back and film it. Let me know when you can get this done. It's kind of urgent, but yeah. not that. We'll get it. We'll get it tomorrow. Julia really got his own little shop down there now. Yeah. What's up, buddy? Marito. How you doing, buddy? What's up, buddy? What's up, bro? Living hey. the life of real collectors. I mean, breaking down part of life. What's up, bro? Hey, how you doing? Good, how are you? Doing good. You already know what it is. It's good, bro. How you doing? So, another day in the kingdom. Trying to get this thing started. This thing stopped sparking for some reason. The condenser went out. The car is very old, 1963. It is what it is, old cars, so they need a special type of care, a special type of attention, but we love them and we wouldn't have it any other way. Patina boys. We got our guy Wesley here today, newest member to the Patina team. He's going to be the guy putting his hands in all the engine bays, getting real dirty, and getting these cars sorted out, hopefully. He came from Pierre, he came from the best, from the school of the hard knocks, and now he's here with the biggest and the greatest Patina collective. Let's go, let's talk to Wesley and see how he feels about being with the team. I got my passion from uh, working on a, my mom's R129 in the driveway. It was a very difficult car to get started. And then uh, I found Pierre Hidari and uh, I took it to him to overlook my work. And uh, he said I did an okay job. I was young, like 19 years old. And I worked for him for four years. And uh, now I'm down here in Boca. <laughs> what are you working on right now? What's uh? What's right now we're, we're checking the ignition condenser to see if we can get the car started. Um, I think the points are fried though. It gets a spark, which is not starting. All right guys, you already know what it is, man. We're dealing with these old cars, 60 plus years old. You're gonna have issues, so it's a 1963 and um, it just stopped starting. It's not sparking, there's no spark right now. So we're trying to figure out what it is. And we got our guy Wesley trying to troubleshoot it with Pierre on the phone. It's just part of the culture. It's a part of the old school vintage Benz collector life. But we love these cars, and especially this one-off rare uh, Fintel. So we're gonna take care of it. We're gonna figure it out. We're gonna head back right now to the showroom and he's gonna head back to the overflow. And we're gonna keep them moving. Patina boys. I came to the oil, drained all the fluids, um, got it to run, and then on the back end, the calipers were seized. So it's a brake issue with this one? Yeah, brake issue. Well, the anti-dive bar in the rear was loose, so the caliper was floating, it was rotating, which caused the caliper, in my opinion, to seize. So all this residue on top of here is oily gas. All of this right here, from it being so overfilled mm. with gas in the oil that's oily gas coming out right with someone just cranking 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 still cranking what what the fuck <laughs> fix a, a fuel line under the fuel pump from the main hose from the check valve to the fuel pump now i can add more gas to it and start it safely This is a 500 SL 6.0 AMG. Had a major leak down here at the power steering pump. This hose was very bad. It was very brittle, it was cracked. So all the fluid from the reservoir, which was empty when they got the car, would just leak out as soon as you'd fill it up. So I replaced that. That was a very difficult hose to, to change down there. It's that one right down in there. Very difficult. I mean, this, this car has a fray of wires. Somebody tapped into all this and I just try to clean it up on both sides and organize it so that way it's not chafing against the belt because this hose down here was chafing against oh, the yeah, alternator. So I zip tied it and I pulled it back with all the wires to try to clean it up. And then this side as well. I mean, there's a lot of wires. I use cheap zip ties for now until I can figure out what we're going to do with it. But at least it's not going into the belt. No, it's not as loose. Right. Then when they're driving, the car doesn't just shut off. I'm chewing up the wires. So guys, this car uh, came to us from our boy Fish. His dad had it. He was in this when he was a kid. Has all original AMG kit on it, all original AMG steering wheel on it. Um, has the right look, the right feel. A really, uh, a really great example of a 500 SCL 
with AMG parts that needs to be kind of restored or brought back to life. Interior was pretty decent, except there was a dead rat inside. So if you have rats in your circle, make sure they're dead. This is the first rat that we jacked in, you heard? AMG car, blue Pentas. Yeah. So it's definitely worth bringing back to life, especially for the price we got them for. It was a pretty public uh, sale. So people know we got these cars for dirt cheap. So I think it's worth sending these cars off to uh, the Middle East yeah. and getting them fully redone. For us, it's probably not a museum piece, but it's something we saw that we could help out with and kind of make it a car that's right for the community that no one else is picking up. And we'll see what happens, uh, but definitely it'll you know, fix up the glass again, looking nice and clear. I was thinking, Vico, I don't know what your thought is, but like a full mono paint job, like taking all the chrome and maybe mono it all out, make it look really, you know, really murdered, like murdered out. Similar, same yeah. color, I think, maybe yeah. a little bit, yeah, maybe yeah. a little bit richer. The interior is Palomino, very nice Palomino interior. I think we should keep it. Add forward. new wood, fix the wood up. Refresh the car up a bit. Moving forward right now to the Brabus 126. Now we have many, many, many 126s in the collection, but very, very seldom do you see a Brabus kitted 126. So this is something we wanted to jump on. If you come with us guys over here in the back, when you open the trunk, you see a very period correct Brabus sticker and you see an address there. So this car came out of Germany. This is a German car, Brabus built car, came to America and obviously sat around and got a lot of rust on the whole body. And it but it's all surface rust still. The car still run, it runs. Yes. It's structurally sound, but a lot of this rust, not necessarily surface, a lot of it's eaten through. Yeah. But you know, it's we can take it there. And the thing that's a high mileage car, so to us it's kind of almost cooler saving a high mileage car than a low mileage car because it's lived its life, it deserves a little bit of a second life yeah. and a third life, and this is kind of its fourth life now. And since we don't have a Brabus SEL for the museum, this will probably be the example we keep because it's different, it's high mileage, but you know, it's running up to half a million kilometers. Be blessed. Yeah. We're here to do a duty to the community and bring it back to life. Tina Boyce, you ready? Right here, sitting right now in this Zender 126 wide body. You've never seen it before. So we're about to take it out right now on these Boca Raton streets in the kingdom and get some reels for the Instagram and for y'all. Tina boys. This is how we do it. This thing was very, very nice. Whoever had this thing took very good care of it and drove it a lot. And it's very nicely tuned as well. Very responsive. M117, what a legendary edge. Insane. Zender sounds incredible. It feels tuned. This has to be a tuned engine. This is not stock. I've driven a lot of these 117 engines, a lot of stock ones, and this is not stock. Definitely tuned. It feels like a six liter and it drives immaculately. Zender boys. This car feels exactly like the M119 converted uh, wide body, ironically, but it has the M117. So it might be a six liter. It just might be. Zender boys. No, 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 that's nasty, that's nasty. I got, no, the E55 is very smooth, very nice. But, but, there's E60s. And you rather, like, I, I, currency needs an E60. I don't, see, I don't know, Master P had an E55 when I lived. That's what I'm trying to put you on. I just want to buy everything I'm supposed to have. Yeah, no problem. I don't, because motherfuckers try to limit me with some body in Japan. No. Bring me no. the I'm like, man, I already know some people. No, no, I'll get you anything you want from Japan. We got people on the ground in Japan. That E500, I'm gonna show you, it's silver, it's nasty, but it just depends how much you want to invest. Um, I will sell one of these roses to the homie. You're smart, because you can always go get the roses tomorrow. You can always go get another one tomorrow. They got them on the lot. Thank you. I will just bring the money there. Give a shout out to the channel, Spiller. Man, come on, man. You already know. You are in the motherfucking Patina Collective. 
you 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 are so lucky to be here. Value <laughs> every second that you spend. And if you don't subscribe, get the fuck because I'm sliding on your house. I'm gonna burn that bitch. Bop bop bop. Shout out to my guy Spitter Currency. You know what I mean? One of the biggest car guys in the game, killing it always. Big inspiration for many, many years for me. Listening to him many, many years in the W202 for over a decade. And now, you know what I mean? He wants to be, you know what I mean? Down with the patina. He's family already in, inducted into the patina hall of fame. I mean, you already know. Shout out to my dog Spitter, man. Let's go.